But demands are pretty straightforward. They want a thorough investigation, charges against the teens dropped, and the officers identified and suspended. Ahuru, 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 which simply means freedom. People want to be free of police brutality. People want to be free of racial discrimination. Dozens gathering in solidarity to condemn the use of police excessive force and to support victims of it. This video of Ocean City Police kneeing a young man already pinned to the ground prompted the rally. When you violate one of us, you have to deal with all of us. Very good. Ocean City Police stopped a group of teens for vaping on the boardwalk. They claim the team became disorderly, interfered with an arrest, and refused to show ID. So please, this has got to stop. Looking at the video, what I saw was deplorable. It was unprofessional. And this is just making matters worse. The statewide chapter of the NAACP has opened an investigation into the incident. Rally participants stopped short of calling for a boycott of Ocean City. Everything is on the table. We haven't ruled out a boycott. We have not ruled out any action in particular that is lawful and will put the appropriate amount of pressure on Ocean City to comply with the law and with the good spirit of treatment of people who come from all over the country. Ocean City police say they're conducting a multi-party internal investigation. Worcester County NAACP leaders are demanding more than that. That's why I'm calling for a third party investigation from some other agencies besides Ocean City Police Department. Rally participants say they're more unified than ever and speaking in one voice. They want the charges dropped against the young men and the officers involved identified and suspended. They also deplore white privilege. They have the privilege to get away with disorderly conduct. They have the privilege to smoke marijuana. However, black boys smoking a vape are not protected by that same privilege. So the question before our policymakers, the question before law enforcement, is whether or not this is going to be a long, hot summer of relief from the pandemic, or if this is going to be a long, hot summer of police violence and public protest. We will not be silent. A lawsuit is also under consideration. Attorney Billy Murphy says one of the teens involved has made contact with his office. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.